Alaska in Ketchikan. You're in the Tongass National Forest. Well, this is what we got. We've come to Chop's Grill for dinner. Ribeye, look how big that thing is. The larger than my hand. <laughs> Damn, we haven't even started our sides yet. I think we're gonna finish all of this. Getting the meat sweats. It makes your ears ring. We've come to Chop's Grill for dinner, and this is what their menu looks like. And I am having a hard time deciding what to order. I want like everything on the menu. This is one of Royal Caribbean's upcharge um, restaurants, just to give you a heads up on that. Um, I don't know how much they charge for it though. They brought us out some bread, and they also brought us some butter. And we just ordered, and I got the petite filet, and he got the ribeye. So, um, and we got some sides, which was spinach, mac and cheese, and truffle fries. And then we each got some appetizers. So we have a big dinner. So spreadable butter, so that's good. None of that hard butter you would get at the main dining room. So I got the beef capaccio, and he got the shrimp cocktail. So, Bebe, taste it. Let's get your review. Look at this. The presentation of yes, beautiful presentation. Very good. Like it? Not spicy enough. See, I told you. Upper fire and just right. You want to try it? Yeah, let me try it. Good though. It's very tender. This presentation of it's so pretty. Looks like a flower pot. Mm -hmm. mm. You can taste the garlic in it. It's so good. And it's very rare. It tastes like a very thin sliced roast beef. Very good. I would get, I would get this again, and I don't even know which one's better, the shrimp or this. They're both very good. As you can tell, I like the, the beef cappaccio, right? Look at my plate. Look at that. So the other appetizer I got was the truffle or wild mushroom soup. And he got the goat cheese salad. So why don't you try it, baby? That thing on the top is the actual goat cheese. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the goat cheese. Looks like it's very fresh, that goat cheese. So, the cranberry and apple give it a, a sweetness. And then you have the cheese on top that gives it this creamy texture right on top of it. So, mm. you're getting a whole range of different kinds of tastes. It's so good. It's really good. All right, so we are gonna taste this mushroom truffle soup. Well, actually, it's called wild mushroom, but it's got truffle in it. So let's try it. You can definitely taste the truffle. And I don't know if you can see this, but it um, really has a lot of mushroom flavor in it, but it is so good. It is really good. I would definitely order this again. It doesn't have like 
a lot of like mushrooms, like chopped up mushrooms in it. It's like a puree mushroom and it's really good. I would definitely order this again. I've never had it before. Um, they do have something similar, I think, in the main dining room, but I've never had it. But this is really good. And if they do have this in the main dining room, I would definitely order it. Okay, so our entrees have arrived. I got the filet. And we also have here some mac and cheese, cream spinach, and truffle fries. And that is his ribeye. Look how big that thing is. But larger than my hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bub, take a bite. Let's see how it tastes. All right, he's going to taste this. Yeah? Melts in the mouth. Okay, here we go. Yours is the exact opposite of mine. So tiny. I did the petite. This is was the Bar Baronese sauce. It's spicy. It's a, oh, actually, no, it's not. It's the peppercorn. And I can definitely taste the spice in it. Let me taste it without the spice. This is overpowering. Let me taste it without that. Mm. Again, this is like the butter. Let's see. Let's inside of that. I don't even know if I really need a knife to cut this. It kind of just sticks to your fork. Well, you might need a fork. But, I mean, you might need a knife. But, it is very tender. Very tender. I will get this again. Thumbs up. Yeah. Damn, we haven't even started our sides yet. I don't know if we're gonna finish all of this. Look at this. I barely make a dent on this. This steak is is the size of Alaska. Look how big it is. I didn't know they had actual cows in this boat. To kill. <laughs> Try uh, the mac and cheese real quick. This just tastes like normal mac and cheese and nothing. What about the spinach? Try that real quick. Nothing to write home about. I don't like it. What? Get all that? So the sides are... It's too chewy. Bit of a miss? But the steaks are good. Mm -hmm. So this was the filet of what's left of it and so full. It looks really good though. Very good. And this right here um, on the right is the peppercorn sauce. It was a little spicy so I had them bring me some of the other sauce which was more mild. But what's wrong? Getting the meat sweats. I think that's what they call it in the biz, right? Yes. Are you gonna have dessert? I'm gonna try it. You look like you're hurting. I'm trying to hang in there. It was a tough fight, but I like to think that I made it through. And they brought out even more food options. I don't know if I have the space to have a dessert. For dessert, we split a key lime meringue pie. So let's taste this. Let's see, you can see the key lime and then there's like a whipped cream on the top. It's very tarty. Mm. It's got a tart that makes my ears ring. Really? Yeah, taste yours. Food makes your ears ring? Like my ears have like a ring in it. That's how tardy it is. You are so wired differently <laughs> than me. It's good. So, at the bottom is where the tart is. Uh -huh. But then there's so much of this uh, 
puffy cream on top that it kind of counteracts with it, right? Yeah, I think you gotta eat it with the cream. With the cream. Otherwise, it's very tarty. Yeah, yeah. But overall, pretty good. I recommend. Okay, here is the review of Chops Grill. I thought it was really, really good. Um, the sides were okay. They weren't anything to write home about. But the meat and the appetizers were amazing. Um, I would definitely go back there again. I think it was worth the money. Um, I just wouldn't get your heart set on the um, sides. The dessert was good. The steak was good. Both of my appetizers were good. Um, Danny's steak was really good. The only thing is my steak, the, uh, the, um, the sauce was a little spicy, so I had to have them bring me a different sauce. But other than that, it was really good. And we actually are so full that we are going to call it a night. So we will see you in our next um, destination, which is still again. Um, I think tomorrow we are in Janu. Is that how you say it? Anyhow, um, we will see you tomorrow. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good night.